Now, interestingly, despite Brexit concerns, U.S. tech companies have been very keen to show their commitment to the U.K. Totally right. Today is a perfect example of that. Amazon, it's unveiling its new offices, new headquarters in the United Kingdom. They're literally just down the road here from our studio here in the United Kingdom in London. And we're seeing that they're saying they've taken on more floors. Why? Because they want to increase the amount of people they're hiring even more. 450 more people than originally planned. These are going to be technical employees. They're going to have 900 of them. This is all about expanding Prime Video into Europe. But Amazon had already, at the beginning of 2017, said that they would add 5,000 jobs in the UK, and they're not alone. We've heard from Alphabet's Google. They said they'd add 3,000 by 2020. We heard from the likes of Facebook, of Snap, of Apple, all of them pledging their allegiance almost to the UK when we heard of Brexit. Quite the reverse when you're looking at some of the banking sector, in fact, where you've got worries, predictions of 10,000 jobs to go in banking and 20,000 roles to go across financial services in general. Amazon today said, quote, they're very optimistic. They will not impede. This is notable. They say Brexit won't impede about hiring talent. It won't make it more difficult. Well, I've just been on a rooftop near here with the so-called Future 50. These are a celebration of the 50 fastest growing companies in the United Kingdom in the tech sector, as outlined by Tech City UK. And speaking to those founders, they're saying we're worried about getting talent. How can I persuade a developer in Portugal or Spain to come over to me in the United Kingdom when I don't have any certainty of what they'll be offered in terms of an EU exit from the UK's exit from the EU? I don't know any certainty how they're going to be able to be employed here. It is hitting smaller companies, even if it doesn't stop the big tech giants.